RP Show continues. By the way, everybody, Telemiracle's 50-50 raffle is live now. Telemiracle5050.com. Proceeds stay in Saskatchewan. will be part of Telemiracle 48. Supporting the work of the Kinsman Foundation. Get your tickets today. Telemiracle5050.com. Well, Brad Johnner is uh, like... He probably would argue or disagree, but he's like the face of Teller Miracle to me and a lot of Saskatchewanians. Can we bring him in? We meet again, hey, Rod. Brad. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Hey, thanks. Good. Thanks for having me. Everybody that uh, I've it's to been this far, week far. Been calling me from Florida. <laughs> Come on down. Well, you got what is that windburn you've got? Not a sunburn? No, that's kind of windburn. From the snow. We've got a foot of snow yeah. here in the last little while, so. Eh. Well, I've heard that. I've heard that. And you are uh, obviously getting ready for Tell America 48. I got a lot of questions about your career and stuff. I said a couple of Sioux Line boys reuniting here. But can you explain to me what Tell America means to you and how that association began? You know, on Telemiracle 4, I, my brothers and I and my dad, we were all a part of uh, the Saskatchewan talent back in uh, at Telemiracle 4, 1979, I believe it was. So uh, we got involved, and then years later, they asked us to be part of the, the cast, uh, the national cast, and I've been part of the national cast now for, I think, 27 years. So it's been, uh, I mean, Telemiracle is, uh, it's a staple for the people of Saskatchewan. And I think everybody still supports it because I mean, there's millions and millions of dollars that are raised every year that just go right back into um, the communities uh, for the people that really need it. And I think uh, people just enjoy uh, uh, the sense of community here in Saskatchewan. And they just enjoy, um, you know, being part of Telemiracle. And I just know so many people that uh, would stay up all night still and, and watch, uh, all the 75 talented uh, Saskatchewan talent performers that we have on the, on the show every year. So that's a big part of it as well. Yeah, for sure. Well, by the way, this show airs all across Canada and 31 U.S. states. So for those that don't know, Telemiracle is called Saskatchewan's Charity. It benefits the disadvantaged uh, and supports the great work of Kinsmen and Canets. Uh, um, through the Kinsman Foundation. So uh, let me just say, what is it, 36 hours you guys are live? Tell me a story about that. You've been doing this before Red Bull was a thing. How do you do it? <laughs> well, tell the miracle. Uh, for us, it starts on the Monday before the weekend. And uh, we, we travel all over the province and all over the communities and, and uh, see where the Telemiracle dollars go and, and the people that are all invited, uh, I mean, in, involved with Telemiracle. There's, I think there's over 600 kin involved, and that's all, uh, uh, they just donate their time, and it's such a great organization, and uh, they really um, are on the sides. Of the of the folks that are in need of of, of the funding, uh, and so they're uh, they they advocate for the for the people that are uh, looking to uh, to get some funding for Telemiracle. So, um, and then of course the telethon uh, starts at six fifteen. It's an online that's a pre uh, pre uh, telethon starts at six fifteen on the Friday. February the 24th, it's called Countdown to Telemiracle, and there's lots of great Saskatchewan talent on there. And then the, the show goes live on CTV at, uh, at 9 p.m. on the Friday, uh, or pardon me, on the Saturday. It's a 20-hour telethon, and uh, we go right through until 5 o'clock on Sunday. There you go. So those are the, <laughs> it's a lot of work, probably the busiest work of the year for Brad, there's no doubt. And I feel like I've watched... You grow up through that. I've watched Telemiracle grow up through that. But we'll come back around on Telemiracle in a second. But I started working on the radio in Weyburn in 1988. This is my 36th year in broadcasting. And I was playing John or Brothers tunes on CFSL. Country favorites, 1190 CFSL. Brad was in there regularly. I'd see it craven. I bumped into you in the bars all over Alberta when I was going to college out there. I'm just a huge John or Brothers fan. And I got a lot of questions about that. Clark, do you have the picture ready? Can, will Brad see this? Can you bring it up? <laughs> this is Ken Johnner. Okay, let's throw it up. Ken Johnner, Brad, one of the many very attractive album covers of the Johnner Brothers. And I'll ask you this, Brad, <laughs> who had the better mullet of the two? Have you had competitions? Have people brought this up? What would be your answer? Who had the better mullet? Man, I Ken tell you. Brad Johnner. 
You know, I think we got to get the wigs back because uh, Ken's back playing with me now. We're doing lots of John and Brothers shows, and I heard you know, we have uh, fans that come out and they got the mullet wigs on. Or I'm, I, I hope they're wigs. I, I'm not sure if that's com coming back or not, but they've got the wigs on and stuff. And so uh, it, it, it's still still really fun. But I'd say I had the better mullet. Okay, good. And uh, that's the thing, folks. This is a legit interview, and Brad knows it. So I remember bumping into you at the Ranchman's in Calgary, Longhorns, and uh, I think we can talk about it now. You guys split up at a time, and I said, Brad, is it true you and Ken split up? And you said, yeah, he's now my sister. You remember that conversation? <laughs> was that just a stock line that you, t <laughs> that you told everybody? That you went I off on your own? I think that was a dream you had. I think that was a dream you had. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, I was I was drinking back then, but uh, anyways, wherever the genres were going to be, I was retired from music 20, 20 some years ago. He uh, somebody came up to him and said, "Didn't you used to be a genre brother?" He says, "I still am." <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You guys got all the lines. Um, absolute icons. And country music, I'm not joking. So your biggest song, I thought, was uh, Goodbye for Good, but a guy wrote in today, Jeff Blosky, said, no, 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 my brother and me, what would you say is your, your Johnny Cash song? If you had to sing one song to save your life, what is it, Brad? Well, we always start our show off with my brother and me just because uh, that seems to be the most requested song that we've, we've had, and we've had lots of letters uh, explaining how it's impacted different people's lives and stuff so you know that's one song that we play every show for sure it's it, i mean it's it's, it's all and, coming from saskatchewan and yeah uh fantastic oh i love it we all love it and the other thing you wrote your first song when you were how old oh i guess i'd probably been about 12 or 13 years old yeah, unbelievable, yes. A savant in this wonderful industry of music is Brad Johner. So I'll wind this up. What's the best pitch for the people out there? Because we can start, they can start donating now to Tell a Miracle. Why wait? Right, right back. When they bring those phones, what do you call them? A knockdown? Yeah. Let's get can... the total up now. Why not start now? Exactly. You can get that. You can uh, at any time and, and make a donation. Also, I wanted to mention the 50-50 draw this year. That's uh, that's a big deal that started last year, I think. Uh, Telemiracle5050.com. And it's a, it guarantees uh, the, the jackpot of $50,000. So you end up with $25,000 automatically. And uh, you can just go to Telemiracle5050.com and, and buy your tickets right now. There you go. Uh, wrapped it all up right there. Telemiracle5050.com. And, of course, uh, the big event coming up in late February. Brad, great to see you, man. I love you. Love your music. You guys are awesome. And uh, see you next month. Thanks for the time. Thanks, Rod. Appreciate you having me on your show. Good luck with everything. Thank you, pal. Brad Johner of the Johner Brothers and uh, Telemiracle 48. We'll be coming right back with a sports update and audience takeover. On the way, Sean Reynolds in Hour 2 of Sportsnet Winnipeg. We are live on Game Plus Television, WQEE Radio, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and YouTube Live.